My name is Nicholas Gerhard. I lived in Australia in a town on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, and I've been interested in falconry for the past three or four years, and I've come to Slovakia to learn falconry and help teach English at the School of Maximilian Hell in Stjevnik Sabania. When I first heard that I'd be teaching English in Slovakia, um, I realized that I would need to do some sort of course that would help me out to teach English in the classrooms. So I went online and searched up teaching English for foreign language courses and I found this one called Eye to Eye. And it was 160 hours plus 20 hours of practical work. So I did all the online course, which took ages and it covered lots and lots of stuff. Um, from just being confident, how to manage a classroom, how to plan lessons. I just did the Teaching English to young, young Learners specialty course and I also did the practical in Brisbane. I went for two weekends, two weekends to Brisbane and it was, yeah, we just did a lot of practical work like teaching and having experience in getting fr in front of people and actually having to teach people. And so I did that, um, got my certificates and came to Slovakia. And once you actually start teaching English different, and it, it's hard at first, but you get used to it and you get better at planning lessons. But at the school, I'm not currently like a head teacher, I'm more of an assistant teacher at the school, assisting her, helping her out. Most of the time I'm doing a lot of activities, I do a few activities, I design a few activities. And my role at the school is to be speaking English all the time, getting students to be confident with English, to show them that they need English in life. It brings English to them and it gets them more motivated to learn English. I've got two kindergarten classes at the school, so they teach a lot of really, really young kids from probably three years old to five years old, and they start year one, and the school goes to year nine, and then they have to leave and go to a high school somewhere else. There's a couple of high schools in Banska Stjevnica, and falconry doesn't become a compulsory subject for students until grade five. And in grade five, they learn the theory side of falconry, the birds in Europe, they learn about the equipment, people show them how to put it on, put on the hoods, handle the birds. The kids who are more keen can go in the afternoons after school um, to the falconry area where once they show an interest and they're participating in the theory and in, the, in the practical lessons, they can slowly start working their way up and get their own bird. And once they get their own bird, they have to look after it every day, feed it, come in on weekends, train them, fly them every single day. And at the school, we have over 30 birds, I believe, um, ranging from, we've got Harris hawks, common buzzards, an eagle owl, snowy owl, tawny owls, barn owl, but then also we've got steppe eagles, golden eagle, saker falcons, yeah, lots and lots of birds. We also have uh, exotic parrot aviary, which has four blue and golden calls from South America, and the African grey parrot from Africa. And then we've also got a horse horse program where students learn to work with horses, horse riding, and it's it works in with the falconry side of things and the 
with all the wildlife and teaching kids that it's teaching kids from a young age that they need work with animals and not live separately like people are separated from animals they don't learn to gain respect for them they don't feel connected with them and therefore they don't want to protect them whereas these kids they're learning to work with these birds from such a young age and they'll carry that through with life with them and more of a motivation to help protect these species in the future and want to play a part in protecting our environment. The school in the future wants to become a self-sustainable unit where it teaches kids but also the public because the public are free to come in and see our animals, see the kids working together. Our kids run educational shows for these tourists and the public and our job is we want to educate as many people as we can and in the future the school just wants to become a big centre of environmental learning and be the best that it can be. the kids, seeing them work with the birds, seeing them interact with them, seeing them fly them, you can see how passionate they are and how much they care about their birds. It's just a special thing because you don't see many kids wanting to work with any other animals. These kids are getting experiences to work with a wide range of animals and birds and it's, it's a special, special thing when you see kids as young as eight or nine working with falcons and little carolyn swinging, swinging a lure for the sake of falcon. It's, it's special because there's not many places like this.